hi this is me bringing my video to you again and today i want to talk about the different types of master's program that you can apply for as uh, someone that is looking for a uh, graduate program or is looking to study graduate a graduate program so the two different types of masters i'll say two different categories of masters are research-based master's program and course-based master's program so i'll be telling you what their similarities are what their differences are and then how to know which is right for you so uh since we are saying that these are different categories of a master's program what that simply means is that they are all master's program and i'm going to take a course-based master's program for example so a course-based master's program usually they are one year program they require you to take some courses that is majorly and then there's a small part of it that incorporates this project or research work which is roughly about three to four months in length so at the end you get your master's program and viola you can go and do any other thing you want to do right now there's also something called research based master's program so you also take courses just like the course based master's program but the major difference between these two is that for research based master's program the uh, research component is very lengthy sometimes spanning up to a year so this means that the research based master's program are often about two years in length or a year and some months like a year and six months a year and eight months or plus or minus two years so what this means is that in terms of differences research based master's program are often longer in in length and um, the other difference is that re most research based master's program are funded meaning that they come with funding because the departments you are working with know that you'll be doing research for them so they give you this um uh let me call it stipends right that doesn't mean that if you are doing course based master's program you cannot get stipends but it is rare except you are getting a scholarship but if it is a research based master's program it's like 90 percent of them come with funding right then the other advantage too is that is if you are looking at doing phd it may it may be preferable for you to go for a research based master's program because since it has research component and phd deals a lot with research so what that means is that it is easier for somebody to know that oh you have research experience and be able to take you right for the phd program but if you do a a, a, a course based master's program they may feel that you don't have enough research experience except you have gone ahead to work maybe as a research assistant for someone else and all that so that kind of improve your chance of getting a phd that doesn't mean you can't get a phd slot with course based master's program it is just harder right so one of the uh, things i really want to pick out here is the difference in terms of funding so because a lot of research-based master's program comes with funding if you are someone that is looking for scholarship or looking for a way to fund your master's program it may be more beneficial for you to go for a research-based master's program since they are going to come with funding meaning that this is a way for you to fund your education but if you really have enough money to pay for your studies it may be i'll say it may be better for you i'm just like there are no hard rules right but it may be better for you to go for course based master's program because it's because the department is not giving you their own money right you are bringing the money to the department by paying your school fees it's easier for you to get admission if it's then another difference between course based master's program and research based master's program is that for research based because you'll be doing research you need to get a supervisor like either you are the one looking for that supervisor yourself or the department is the one giving you the supervisor but most times supervisors have limited number of students that can take so that means that fewer students are taking for the research based master's program and the application is also different if you are applying for masters um, course based masters program you just 
do your application, submit online. But if you are doing a research based master's program application, most times you have to go the extra mile of looking for a supervisor, and that means you have to write a lot of letters, you have to check a lot of websites looking for which supervisor is working in the area that you will. Um, you also want to work on so it's kind of more tedious for you to do or to apply for a research based master's program one of the things you can do is to get someone who has done this type of application before to assist you because trust me you may be writing letters and you're not getting responses from potential supervisor you may not know that it is just something you didn't include in your write-up that is messing you up or it may just be the title of your email that is making the um the university email system to filter the email you are sending to the profs so there are many reasons why many things can go wrong when you are applying for a research based master's program so if you are looking for funding it may just be wise to look for a guide and it, it doesn't mean that that guide has to be a particular person it doesn't necessarily have to be you can also go online read a lot of materials about how to find a supervisor and all that by the time you dig the internet it's possible for you to train yourself to be able to make effective applications for research based masters program in summary <laughs> in summary what I'm saying is that in summary what I'm saying is that if you want to uh, apply for master's program you have two options to apply for course based master's program or research based master's program if you're applying for course based master's program the advantage is that it is usually one year the application process is very simple you apply they give you admission you pay your school fees you start schooling after one year you've graduated except you get a, a scholarship like Chevney scholarship and other scholarships that exist right you also know that it's difficult to get those calls. Not that it's, it's impossible, but it's difficult to get them as well. Like, it doesn't come on a platter of gold. That's what I mean. You have to have done a lot of community work and all that to qualify for those scholarships. A lot of people don't uh, are not able to qualify for it because they don't have the necessary ingredients like the leadership experience, the community work, the volunteer experience that is needed, right? Good. Then... The sec your second option is research based master's program that requires you to uh, find a supervisor in a school or write to the school to know if they are going to pair you with a supervisor and then apply you have to do a lot of letter writing to potential supervisors until you get one and most times if you don't have a supervisor they won't give you admission so it's kind of tedious you may benefit from getting a, a somebody to assist you with that application or you go online and read 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 on how to do that application successfully and the bottom line is that at the end of the day any of them that any part that you take you would have gotten your master's uh, admission you will have uh, done the master's program and viola you are now done and you you have finished your master's right that's the the, the most important thing so um i'll be bringing you many more um informative videos as time goes on keep your eyes on my page and plenty of love 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 from dr lee thank you